Gamal Fuda, the leader at Al Nur Mosque. He takes them in prayer and he says in the weeks before March 15, a European man visited the mosque and prayed with the worshippers. The Imam is adamant that man was Brenton Tarrant. When they showed this nameless person in the TV, uh, people actually realised that he came here at least three times. And I have around five people who met him in this mosque who talked to him and he pretended that he is, he is Muslim and he, he came and he prayed in the mosque. Tarrant may have wanted to blend in by pretending to be a Muslim. Instead, Gamal Fuda says he drew attention to himself. One time he was wearing Pakistani dress. He was wearing Pakistani dress. And people looked at him as a strange, strange person. He looks, he doesn't look like Pakistani, he looks like he looks, <laughs> he's not Pakistani at all. Tarrant had recently been in Pakistan. Facebook posts from late October 2018, less than five months before the terror attack, show him as a tourist there. He visited the cities of Skardu and Gilgit in Pakistan-administered Kashmir and the picturesque remote villages of Pisan and Minipin in the Naga Valley. And he seemed to enjoy it. Tarrant said, Pakistan is an incredible place filled with the most earnest, kind-hearted and hospitable people in the world. And yet, after he opened fire in Al Noor and Linwood Moss, it was the kind-hearted people of Pakistan who suffered nine deaths. He's using the uh, culture and um, softness of the people to do something which is really bad. People like Nadim Khan, who lost brother-in-law Naheem Rashid and nephew Talaha Naheem in the shootings. He did his homework. Uh, he's, a, he's a gutless person. He, does, he have no emotion. He's, I don't call him a human being. In the aftermath of the shootings, and despite initial suppression orders, survivors saw pictures and mentions of Brenton Tarrant on international news sites and on social media. And they remembered the strange European visitor that came to Al Noor Mosque. One of my friends, he just hugged him and embraced him. And then he sat beside him. People, they saw him and they, they realized this face, they, they recognized this face. And uh, he came during the planning and the stuff. He came here three weeks consecutively to the mosque during the Friday prayer. Remember, the initial attack on Al Noor Mosque took place during Friday prayers. Gamal Fuda believes Tarrant was trying to work out the schedule of the Christchurch Mosque. And he also talked to one person. He said, do you pray in the same time every Friday? Yes. And do you get, do, uh, uh, one imam gives, deliver their speech every Friday at the same time? Yes. So he was asking people questions as well. To make sure, we're talking about the gunman here. Yeah. He came to this mosque. Yes. He came into this mosque. Mm -hmm. We are legally not allowed to show Terence's live stream of the attack, but some of the survivors and families of the victims have forced themselves to watch. Often it has reinforced their view that the terrorist visited the mosque before the shooting to learn the layout of the building. Because you saw the gunman come in here, do you think he looked as if he knew his way around this, this hundred percent, hundred percent. If you, st if, you, if you look at the way he behaved in here, he knows the place like his house. He did not try to open any door. He knew beforehand that where to stand. 29 seconds after parking in an alley off Deans Avenue, Tarrant approaches the entrance of the mosque. 71-year-old Afghan refugee Haji Daoud Nabi is welcoming worshippers. He warmly greets Tarrant with the words, Hello, brother. Tarrant shoots him several times and walks past him. At 41 seconds, he shoots into the women's hall, but he keeps moving to the packed men's hall. Six seconds later, he shoots repeatedly at people across the men's hall. Then he goes back to the car. At 3 minutes 22 seconds, Tarrant grabs a second weapon. 35 seconds later, he re-enters the mosque. 11 seconds later, he shoots at bodies piled up in the men's hall, then leaves. 5 minutes and 39 seconds after it all began, he drives off towards Linwood Mosque. 
if you look, if you study where he was standing, if you analyze it, then you will know that this man studied the place carefully. He did not give any chance to anybody to attack him. 